Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and this is not just one deck review, it's two. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Star Wars Force Awakens playing cards from Carta Mundi. Uh, it's a continuation of the saga that was originally created by George Lucas and this movie is set 30 years after Return of the Jedi. Um, this movie was directed by J.J. Abrams, and it was written by Lawrence Kasdan, uh, who has done Star Wars before, and who is awesome, and uh, also co-written by J.J. Abrams, and it stars all of your favorites, like Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, uh, Warwick Davis, Anthony Daniels, Peter Mayhew, uh, and on and on and on and on and on. Also, we have our brand new cast, like Adam Driver, Gwendolyn Christie, uh, Daisy Ridley, Oscar Isaac, John Boyega, and Andy Serkis. Today, we have the Kylo Ren playing cards and the Resistance versus the First Order playing cards. Let's get into it. All right, so these are the Kylo Ren cards from Carta Mundi. Uh, Kylo Ren was played by Adam Driver in the movie. And as you can see across the front, it says Star Wars and uh, Kylo Ren playing cards. It says Disney right there, and then there's a painting, uh, a drawing of Kylo Ren. The side says Kylo Ren playing cards, as does the other side. The bottom has some ad copy about Carta Mundi, and the back has some ad copy about Kylo Ren. Top simply says Star Wars. There's no tuck seal in this, which is nice, and that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, these cards are printed from Carta Mundi, and uh, they are not uh, as strong as other cards that you might be familiar with. Um, they're more of a, a flimsy, almost kind of uh, souvenir quality deck, okay? So that's kind of where I would put it. Uh, the back design is a one-way depiction of Kylo Ren's mask. And down over here on the side, the letters going down says Kylo Ren. It is also a uh, full bleed picture that goes all the way to the edges. With this deck, you're going to get three Joker cards, or at least I assume they're Joker cards. They're just blank image cards of uh, Kylo Ren. They're pictures of him, depictions of him. Your aces are all one-way cards, meaning that uh, they look different when you flip them upside down. And again, they're just drawings, paintings, uh, depictions of Kylo Ren and his mask. The pips and indice cards are devoid of a center pip layout. They're just uh, orbs, they're circles, of Kylo Ren's mask. And they say the first order rules the galaxy. However, once the pips start to reach number seven, uh, they take uh, those away and they go back to pictures, probably because those center circles uh, were too large to fill the card. Your court cards, again, are going to be one-way depictions of Kylo Ren in action, either with uh, the First Order Troopers or just standalone by himself. Today, we're going to look at the Resistance versus the First Order playing cards. Now, the front of the tuck case says Star Wars. It says Resistance versus First Order playing cards in the front. Uh, we've got one of the Star Wars posters there that primarily features Kylo Ren. The side says Star Wars Resistance versus First Order playing cards, as does the other side. The bottom has some ad copy about Carta Mundi. And the back of the tuck case depicts both the First Order and the Resistance and a little bit about that fight. The top of the tuck case simply says Star Wars, and there is no tuck seal, which is always nice. And that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from Carta Mundi, like I said, and they are a little bit of a thinner, more papery feel card. They're kind of more of a souvenir quality card. They might not be as stiff or as firm as some cards that you are used to. Uh, the back design is a poster for Star Wars Force Awakens, and it's a sideways view. So normally when you hold cards, you hold them like this. Um, they've chosen to put the picture on sideways, probably to fit the whole image on. So that makes it a one-way back design, which means uh, it looks different this way than it does this way. The back design features Kylo Ren, Captain Phasma, and all of your favorites from Star Wars Force Awakens. With this deck, you're gonna get three Jokers, the first of which is your red Resistance Joker, which features the X-Wing, uh, probably the one that's flown by Poe Dameron. You also have a, another Resistance Joker, which is the Millennium Falcon, which is Han Solo's ship. And then you have a First Order Red TIE Fighter. In this deck, the red suits are gonna be the ones that depict the good guys, the Resistance. So this is BB-8. And the black cards are gonna represent the First Order or the bad guys. Your Ace of Diamonds says Red Squad on it. And your Ace of Spades is a picture of Kylo Ren. All of your pips and indice cards are gonna be completely uh, one-way pictures. They'll probably either feature Kylo Ren or a Snow Trooper or a Flame Trooper or one of the First Order Resistance Troopers. 
your red pips and indices are all going to depict uh, heroes from the resistance. So again, these are all drawings or paintings, uh, airbrush artwork, uh, and they're all going to be one-way cards. All right, that's everything I can say about these two decks from Cardamundi. Highlighting the Force Awakens. As always, keep coming back. Keep subscribing to this channel for more fun Star Wars content. May the Force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.